Hello dear students, welcome to 10th standard social science. In this video lesson, I am presenting highlights of the first lesson in history, advent of Europeans to India. In this video lesson, I have taken all the important topics of the lesson and presented presenting before you. Dear students, watch this till the end, make use of it and forward the link of the same video to other friends of your class. Let them make use of it and score better. This video lesson ali, this part of the video is all the most important things you have to do with all the most important things you have to do with all the All the best. So lesson number one, history, advent of Europeans to India. This e lesson ali, Nimo Dustaks Divani Rights Dual Government. Yugalabage Nimu Tilkurbeko. So first of all, what is Dustaks? Dustaks are licensed to trade in Bengal and they were issued by the Mughal ruler Farooq Siyar. Agadre Divani Rights and Reeno Divani Rights and Re right to collect tax. British got this right. After the Battle of Baksar, Diwani Rights. So Diwani Rights means right to collect tax. British East India Company had this right from Shah Alam II. Then what is dual government? Dual government means the British had the right to collect land taxes, whereas the Nawab had power over administrative issues like justice and others. Dear students, let us know the factories of the colonizers in India. Colonizers were Portuguese, English and French and even Dutch. But Dutch left India earlier, that's why I have not mentioned here. Portuguese had factories at Goa, Diu, Daman, Ugli, Santo. Adetara English Nauru, Surat, Agra, Bombay, Madras, Mate Kalkata Dali. They had their factories in these places. Likewise, French had their marketplaces at Pondicherry, Mahe, Karaikal, and Chandranagar. Now, another highlight of the lesson is list out the achievements of Raja Marthandavarma. This is also an important three mark question. It can be asked for two marks as well. Dear students, here I am presenting how did Marthandavarma fight out the Dutch in Travancore. I have given you points in different boxes. He stood against the foreigners who were greedy of pepper. Marthandavarma shifted his capital from Padmanabhapura to Tiruvananthapura. He brought many reforms in administration. He made his kingdom as world Travancore province. The treaty was signed and the Dutch forces surrendered its power to Travancore province. So these are the points you need to learn here. The next topic, where were the following forts built at? Fort William, Fort George and the details about the same. Fort William was built by English East India Company on the banks of River Hooghly in West Bengal. Fort George was built by English East India Company in Madras. The next important highlight of the first lesson history, which factors influenced Vasco da Gama to find sea route to India? Astrologue, Mariner's Compass, Gunpowder, Encouragement by Kings and Queens of Europe, along with this, Accurate geographical maps. The following years stand for, so I have given you six important years of the first lesson history 1453, 1498, 
1498, Vasco da Gama discovered sea route to India. 1600, the East India Company, English East India Company was established. 1757, the Battle of Plassey took place. 1764, the Battle of Buxar. 1765, the dual government was introduced. Complete the sentence. Here, I have given you four sentences where you need to complete. It is like fill in the blank and they are the highlights of the lesson. Constantinople was called Dash. Dastaks were issued by Dash. The people who assisted Robert Clive against Siraj Daula in the Battle of Plassey were Vasco da Gama left Dash to reach India. Let us see the answer. Constantinople was called the gateway of European trade. Dastaks were issued by Mughal Emperor Farooq Siyar. The people who assisted Robert Clive in the Battle of Plassey were Manik Chand, Jagat Seth, Nemi Chand and Mirzafa. Vasco da Gama left Lisbon to reach India. Answer the following in one or two sentences. Here I have given you about five questions, important questions. They may come for one or two marks. The trade became unprofitable for Europeans. Why? The Turks started levying too many taxes on the goods passing through the city Constantinople routes. Therefore, the trade became unprofitable for European traders. Why was the blue water policy introduced? Francisco de Almeida introduced blue water policy in order to establish the supremacy over sea trade. Instead, supremacy over land, the blue water policy was introduced. Who led the British army against the French in the Third Carnatic War? Sir Ayrcourt. Mention the place where Vasco da Gama landed his foot in 1498. It is Kappadu of Calicut in Kerala. Black Room tragedy resulted in Dash. So it led to the death of 123 people. Siraj Daula imprisoned 146 Englishmen in a small room in the fort William of which 123 people died. What was the impact of the capture of Constantinople? The trade route between the east and the west was closed. It led to the expansion of the knowledge of geographical discoveries. Mention the reason for the Battle of Plassey. The misuse of Dustux by the company officials, mending of the Fort St. William without the permission, Blackroom tragedy where 123 Europeans, European traders were killed, Robert Clay attracted rich locals like Manik Chand, Omi Chand and Jagat Seth towards him. What were the results of the Battle of Plassey? The Battle of Plassey brought out the immorality, lack of unity among the Indians and the greed of Indian businessmen. Mir Zafar became the Nawab of Bengal. The company gained an exclusive rights to do business in Bengal. Mir Zafar had to pay rupees 17 crore and 70 lakh to English as relief for Siraj Daula's attack on Fort William. List out the reasons for the Battle of Buxar. Mir Qasim questioned misuse of Dastaks by British. Mir Qasim made Bengal duty free. This made British angry, so they dethroned Mir Qasim. These are the reasons for the Battle of Buxar. Dear students, here is a map with location of places. Number one, 
Kolkata. See the red dot. Number two, Madras. Number three, Pondicherry. Number four, Cochin. Number five, Mumbai. I wish you all the best dear students. These are the highlights of the lesson and I think all these are sufficient to score good marks in this lesson. I wish you all the best. Keep watching SPSR online learning. I am presenting all the 33 lessons this year. Every week one or two video lessons you will have. Keep watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe it. All the best. Thank you.